Oh, I wanted to tell you about the sheepdog. Mini sheepdog. See, I did a video recently on this. Behemoth. Bohemoth. And this is a Vanguard series, by the way. So this is my card, uh, like 154 CM Steel. And this is the XL, Sheepdog XL. And that's Sheepdog Knives, Chris Conaway, etc. right? But this little guy, and I put him in that video that I did on this, okay? Just as a size comparison thing. Okay, let's push this out. Because this one is in a premium box here. That's a little guy. And uh, let's get it here. Okay, it's the C01C Mini. All right, Refere Scales S35VN. Okay, blade. Now, there they are. That is a big difference in size. This is well under three inch blade. Okay, now. Let's see how this one, ooh, still behaving nicely after I, after I sprayed it down with WD-40 like, like a madman. It was like, I didn't give a shit. I just did it, and it did, I like the effect it actually had on it. I don't know if I was supposed to do that, but I did it. Okay, so it comes in the schmancy box, and let's just get that part out of the way quick. Here's that. You get a little a microfiber cloth in there. You can see the paperwork is unnecessary because it doesn't tell you anything about the knife you just bought. And this. These are extra hardware screws and stuff, and it comes in this Velcro pouch in this plastic. Okay? So that's it. That's the total setup on the box. Nice. Of course, these are magnetic. So... Uh, and it has a slip cover on the outside. Okay, so there's the box you get. Forget about it now. Let's talk about the knife because this, like I said, I brought it with me to Arizona, Sedona, Arizona, and I didn't put it up for a picture in front of the Red Rocks or anything. That is too bad. Uh, this is awesome. And I know, it's a tiny knife, right? Okay, titanium pocket clip. Refere scales, you like that? I think they're cool, okay, I, I get it. It's a resin type thing and this and that, whatever, okay. S35BN, okay, I like that. I like that for blade material. Here's the deal. I mean, this is the way it came with me. If you got, if you got one of these, let me know if this happened to you. This thing just, do you see that? That's a light blade. It just rolls around. It is a weird feeling. It's centered, it's, you know, it almost makes you think, I got blade play. Nope, it's centered, nope. It is the strangest, and I haven't taken it apart. It was like this way out of the box. Freak me out. Uh, I mean, really, there ain't many knives that give you this kind of action. I don't know. And, you know, okay. It doesn't have the huge, gross flipper tab like its big brother. It, it lost the flipper tab and it got a hole. So I was playing on words going... No flipper tab, but it's a whole lot better. Okay, so this Mini has got premium steel. It's got refere. It's lightweight. It's a fifth pocket carry or super discreet gent carry, whatever you want to do. But that, now, they're 178 bucks map pricing, okay? But, I mean, I saw it on White Mountain Knives, and so 178, 10% if you use LTK as a discount code. So that's, what, about $18 off. Okay, okay, maybe that's okay with you. Maybe you go, uh, it shouldn't be more than 90 bucks or whatever. I don't know. But it is what it is. I'm just saying, and I don't chase mini knives, 
I didn't say many. I said many. And, oh, hold on, where's my, where did my, uh, of course, it's probably staring me right in the face. My, uh, yeah, there it is, my tape. Uh, okay, 2.75 inch blade down here. Two point, I think they were saying 2.63, something like that, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, at about, what, 70 millimeters, etc., and then six and a quarter, not quite even that, at about 15.7 centimeters. Now, check it out. These refer scales are interesting, aren't they? And then you got these kind of machined out. So there's some traction there. They don't do the little machine things here, those three. But the scales are the same because it's a liner lock. It's a steel liner. And there's your lock up. That's about 25%. Um, and it's a satin blade. Okay. And let's see if we can read our... Yeah, half inch, which is actually a pretty good handful for a tiny knife like that. 12.9 millimeter and 2.7 millimeter blade stock at 0.1. Okay. So, amazing. But the action is amazing. And see that little nub? Hit you in the thumb. Just lay it on over. I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I got just the freak of the bunch. Uh, and you know what? I don't know. I don't know if you get this many. Because this many you can get for like $69, I think. If you get it just with the uh, 154CM in a micarta or whatever, so you can get this kind of mini. You don't have to get premium steel. You don't have to get refere and all that, okay? So you can get it $100 less. How that action is, I don't know. I don't know. It's the only one I got. Wow. Of course, this is the second mini I've had because I had the mini back in the day when they had the flipper tab and no hole. Now... Ergos, you know, it's a three finger knife. It's uh, yeah, three and a half. Okay. Can you, yeah, you can sneak up and kind of get all of them on there. It depends on what kind of cutting you're doing and how, what your orientation is to what you're cutting. Uh, okay. But I took it with me and then I never did any postings on my Instagram and that's too bad because I really wanted to hmm um not not nah not scary sharp uh kind of a standard maybe just a skosh on the dollar side of factory standard so uh although I've had this for probably three weeks and I've been carrying and using it so I don't know how much is affected by my cutting as opposed to sharpness out of the box now so it's really nice and easy to use because you know you can open boxes you know just and and it's so light and easy to carry and I said light didn't I it is 73.5 grams that's all folks um what is that in real weight 2.6 ounces okay yeah okay so mm, kind of a little you know stubby brute in a way i mean it's not very slender and ultra elegant necessarily but yeah, I like it. Uh, it's just so fidget friendly and so easy to carry. I, I don't know. I mean, you might could pull this off 
if you wanted to, the pocket clip. One guy was going, well, you ought to let us know if you can really take that pocket clip off or not. Well, this one, I don't think I have to disassemble. I will disassemble it, but I mean, you don't need to disassemble it to figure that out, right? Because you've got this screw here is for that standoff. This is for that. This pocket clip looks like all it does is it screws into, and let's go to this. Yeah, it just screws in uh, into the liner. So you can unscrew that, I guess. Uh, yeah, and just go without a pocket clip if you want. So you could just throw it in your pocket that way. And really, I don't think these resin scales are going to be easy to mark up and scratch. Nothing like titanium. You know, so they would, they probably wear pretty good, actually. But not only the action on this knife, but the jimping up here. The ergos are good on the sheepdog, period, though. It's easy to hold in your hand and to function with that way. And, of course, the design flow is nice. You think, oh, no, it cuts off. No, check this out. See? Where that blade comes down. Now you've got it all. You got it all. It's just these cleaver style blades give that impression when they go there. But other than that, uh, you good, man. You are good. Now, obviously, and I think it's obvious that we're gonna have number sixes involved in this. Oh, hey, let's close it. Oh, uh, you just do that just to do it. <sighs> That is, oh my God, you'll find yourself sitting there doing, oh my God. When I got this, I couldn't put it down. I, and you know what? Like I said before, I'm not a big, you know, I don't chase the little tiny knives. I was just crazy uh, impressed with it, with the action on this. And I've always liked the sheepdog design anyhow. And now that I got the big, big fat daddy, and then I got the little mini. That's kind of way cool. It's kind of like having that Cansep Corvid uh, XL and mini from uh, from uh, from Cansep. I mean, what what was I saying? But you know that that's kind of a hatchet too, isn't it? That is a vicious hatchet. And I was going Cansep Corvid. What's the model? I don't know. Could it be the Corvid from Coke Tools? That's what I was trying to remember. I'm sorry. But, you know, okay, let's look at these. See, I got to get used to this new camera thing. Okay, so they're equal. They're the same. Okay, no problem. Okay, now, and of course, that's titanium pocket clip. And here, see? It's see-through, isn't it? It's translucent. It's, uh, yeah. And there's nothing, no internal screws in here. So this should come off, should in theory come off if I get the right kind of, uh... okay, come on, come on. You need to let go, let go. There you go. Okay, um, all right. Doesn't need to be skeletonized. It doesn't weigh anything to begin with, does it? And, of course, ceramic bearings, etc., etc. And that's about it, folks. Whoop, there goes a pivot. Ah, flat spot. So, of course, there's no entry here for a number eight or anything. So, yeah, good thing they did that. And skeletonized liner on the presentation side. There's your standoffs, which are pretty heavy-duty considering that it's a tiny super lightweight knife and then your little squared off spot to keep your pivot from turning i mean uh okay i i think this is not uh not rocket science is it, it looks like uh, most other knives but so much better and the mini that does so much yes the mini Mini sheepdog, and does this still act? Oh, see, I didn't screw it up. How is that possible? It's still that good after I put it back together. No, say it ain't so, Joe. 
Wow, that. Uh, muy impreso. That's probably Italian and Spanish at the same time. Um, that is good. Okay, I give up. You know what? And this is Kaiser. What are they doing? Seriously, like the Bag Lighter 2? It has this crazy drop, doesn't it? And then that redone Domen. Yeah. And so what is going on? Do they got secret fairy dust or something's going on? Something's going on. We got to get to the bottom of it. That, that. Is it worth 180? No, well, 10% discount, 100. Is it worth 160? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I, you know, whatever. I think it's worth it just for this. And it's a super steal. And if you like the refer and stuff, okay. I mean, God, it, it, I'm, shit, I'm so blown away by all the people spend 450, 550 for a lot of these OEM knives that these uh, guys in the U.S. are are putting out there and I get that I get that draw okay but it's just a lot I mean that's a lot of money and so you know I'm like ooh, two hundred dollars is a lot of money hell too not anymore Joe okay but this is this is just crazy good I mean this knife um the one you get I'm interested if you get a mini sheepdog the $69 one or the $169 one, how's the action? Please tell me. And you know what? We do love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.